What's up guys? Welcome back to Fox Buddy Rehab. Hey look, I'm going to do a quick video to answer the question that I seem to be getting a bunch. What are you going to do with that SSP? Well, if you can't tell from the first video, um, I've added white fenders. I added white doors. I added a rear bumper cover, added tail lights, added a deck lid. And then, I threw in door panels that I got with the doors just for now. Got a red coupe back seat and a package tray. That's for starters. Then, I got a parts car, specifically for rear differential, which is getting cleaned up with the springs, and I'll paint it. Front clip needs to be addressed, but luckily, Sasha, I've got just such a monster. So, in my collection, I have this 86 front clip, which will go on there just fine. Change it over to the fiberglass reinforcement. It's good all the way back to the strut towers, and I got a good core support. So, that piece will go on there. This is the parts car that's giving up the goods. Rear end's already out. Motor trans came out yesterday. Uh, clutch pedal assembly and steering column came out yesterday. So now I just got to take the front suspension out from underneath of it, clean it up, get it installed. So what am I going to do with it? I'm going to put it all together. I'm going to have it as a complete car very soon and as a roller. Tomorrow I'll have the rear differential installed and I'll have the front suspension taken out of my donor. And then I'll be looking to take care of this rear, for this front end. So I'll go through the stages of extracting it like it's supposed to, taking it from this section forward and putting an OEM front clip on it so I can keep it as original as possible. I mean, after all, she is a pedigree car being a trooper. Now I'm going to include the VIN number of this car because I'm getting no information and to spend $400 plus on a Marty report on a car I got for $3 just doesn't seem very cost effective. So I'll put out the VIN to the world there. Maybe you guys can uh, find something more than I can. But 88's about to go in, doing a muriatic acid bath on it. And then I'll clean her up a little bit more, get her brushed down, and get her painted. So guys, that's the plans for the SSP, which I've determined uh, for sure, thanks to MJ. Uh, it's a 1988 model. So 88 model, and we believe it's Texas DPS. So early Texas DPS, automatic car, slick top. Never had light bar on the top of it. So, guys, if there's any gurus out there, I could use your help on this one. I know she was in service for about 10 years from 88 to 98, but heck, it almost looks like a car. I'll include some pictures of what it looked like when I snatched it up on the trailer for those of you that are just tuning in. But for the rest of you guys that keep asking the question, what are you going to do with that SSP? I'm doing it. Look, I'm doing it. At the same time, doing everything else. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for keeping up. It's good to see you guys interested in this car. And uh, very soon, it'll be back together as a complete bodied car, uh, probably the interior in it as well. Uh, and then some uh, harnesses, get some wiring to the car. Then I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably push it over in my line, full of my other ones. Because you know it looks cool next to a white coupe? A white coupe. Or a red coupe. Or a strawberry metallic coupe. Or a black coupe. Or a red coupe. This is going to look good in my line. Ooh, look. Ooh, and a maroon coupe. Yeah, these are going to look good all together. So... Texas DPS representing here, guys. Help me out, man. Run this van. What can you find out for me? Who's got the hookups? Who's got the info? Who's the badass out there? Fox Body Rehab, man. Appreciate your input, dude. Good to see you guys. Keep it up with it. We thank you very much. Fox Body Rehab. Doing it.